Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Dentistry Made Easy. In my last video, I have covered about the mechanisms of bone growth in depth and I said in that video that I'm going to show a diagrammatic representation of this to make it easier for you. So basically three mechanisms of remodeling, growth field and growth movements. So moving towards our first, that is your bone remodeling. So I'm going to show you exactly how it is. So basically in your bone remodeling we have seen about deposition and resorption. So because of your osteoblastic activity the bone gets deposited. Now over here I am drawing a mandible, I am drawing a mandible of an infant. So this is a smaller in size as it is a infant mandible. now it grows in size and what exactly makes it grows i'm going to talk about that now we have covered about the growth of mandible like particularly in embryology now your mandible is like it grows in specific like there is deposition in specific areas and there is resorption in specific areas because of which your mandible it grows in upward and backward direction so your mandible it grows in upward and backward direction so the red one is the ones which is resorbed so your anterior portion of the ramus it gets resorbed and the pointed like near the your chin area it gets resorbed and near your condylar head a small portion it gets resorbed there is deposition of the bone near your chin area then there is deposition of the bone in your alveolar area and there is deposition at the condylar head and near your coronoid also and basically this is the fixed like where exactly your man mandible the bone is resorbed and where the bone is deposit and because of this there is this change in position now as you have seen there is deposition of the bone at the condylar head which makes it to move like to grow in the upward direction and your posterior surface of the ramus it also is deposited the bone is deposited and because of that there is a backward movement now to accommodate this your mandible it moves in the downward direction as we have seen it grows in upward and backward direction but to accommodate it accommodate it into the cranial bone your mandible is translated into a downwards and forward direction and this was like in short about your bone remodeling there is deposition there is growth in backward and upward direction and there is transportation of your mandible in downwards and forward direction now the next one is your cortical drift so we have seen in cortical drift like for an example this is a bone at x position And cortical drift is a type of a growth movement. It is occurring towards the depository surface by this deposition and resorption. So the green ones are your deposition with a plus sign and minus is the resorption with the minus sign. So because of this, now you can see it is moving in the forward direction. Now your bone is deposited, for example, on the left side and it is resorbed on the right side. So because of this, there is the change in the position of your bone. So it is moving in forward direction and there is this change in position now your bone is changed into a newer position but now there was equal deposition and resorption so it is not changing in its size but it is only changing in its position as it is moving and this one was the first scenario in your cortical rift now the next scenario is this is your bone
and over here this is the deposition of the bone now your deposition is more like i have shown two columns of the plus sign but only one column of minus so there is less resorption and more deposition so your bone is getting more deposited so the thickness is increasing now on your left side it is depositing more and on the light, right side it is resorbed, resorbing less so finally the end product you are like the y product is your bone is displaced like it is in the new new position and even the thickness has increased so there is more deposition and because of this there is change in the size that is it increases in the size and the last scenario is this is the bone there is this deposition on the left side now over here there is only one column there is less deposition but there is more resorption so now it is changing in its position and in a new position you will find that the bone is decrease like it gets thinner because there is more resorption and less deposition so finally it is moved into a newer position but even the thickness has decreased and this was the diagrammatic representation of your mechanisms of bone growth and even this diagrams you can draw draw in your exams so that you can score well and this was the this was it of this video thank you